All right, hello and welcome to this video. Uh, in this video, we'll create a visual world experiment in SuperLab. Now, visual world experiments are typically done with eye tracking methodology, but since we don't have an eye tracker in the lab, we'll just do it with mouse clicks. Um, so we're going to try and recreate this experiment that you see here on the screen. It's just called Visual World, and uh, let me click play to show you what it's all about. <clears throat> okay, uh, welcome to the experiment. On the following screens you will see sets of pictures. It is your task to identify one of the pictures by clicking on it. Between screens with pictures, you will see a fixation cross. You need to click on it to get to the next set of pictures. Click anywhere to start the experiment. I'll do that. Okay, now I need to click on the fixation cross. Okay, and you probably didn't hear that voice, so let me make it louder for the next time. It said click on the can. Click on the candle. Click on the candle. Click on the light. Okay, I think you get the idea. <clears throat> so, uh, you see there are three blocks, intro, experiment, goodbye. Uh, the experiment block has two types of trials, filler trials and critical trials. And the fillers are linked with six events, the fixation cross, upper right filler, that's a picture, lower right picture, upper left picture and upper lower left picture and then the sound that goes with it. And for the critical trials, it's the same. Fixation cross, four pictures, and a sound, and then uh, there's a goodbye message at the end of the experiment. All right, that's what we're going to try and recreate. And in order to do that, there are already a bunch of uh, folders with files uh, in your session four folder. So there are uh, two folders with sound, so these are the filler sounds here, uh, shirt, boat, candle, so this file says click on the shirt. And uh, here we have the critical sounds, uh, click on the bee, click on the car. Oh, and I should probably uh, let you know what the, the critical and filler trials are all about. So let's restart the experiment. Click on the seven. Okay, this was a filler trial. Seven has no competitor here uh, in these pictures. Click on the four. Okay, and this also is a filler trial. Click on the bike. Filler. Click on the watch. Filler. Click on the tie. Okay, and this is actually a critical trial uh, because uh, tie and tires start with the same sound. Yeah, so participant might be confused and look a bit at the tires before clicking on the tie. That's the question anyway, if people slow are slowed down when they have a competitor object on the screen. Right, so that's that. <clears throat> uh, yeah, let me open a new experiment. Um, okay, we have uh, keyboard and mouse as input. We need both of that. And I'll save this as a visual on the desktop. Okay, so a lot of things will happen now that you already know. Uh, intro experiment goodbye. Okay. For the trials, we have intro, fillers, critical, uh, and then goodbye. For the events, okay, here we have quite a lot going on. Um, first of all, we have the intro. I'm just going to write a little. Then, okay, we have a picture file. <clears throat> Start with upper right. Okay. Then we have 
the sound. Real sound. Mm, I might uh, probably should call this not the right color. Fixation cross. Let me add that. Okay. Now, um, <clears throat> more pictures. For the critical trials. Upper right critical. Not a lot. Okay, good. Now, for each of the pictures and the two types of sound, we need lists of stimuli that we should import to Visual World, uh, to uh, Superlab, and then link with the trials. And that, you're probably familiar with that by now, uh, happens with well, the Experiment tab and then Stimulus Lists. And here we'll create 10 lists. So one list for upper right pillar. And there we add a folder. Okay, and <laughs> that looks weird. Well, let me find it elsewhere. Here we go. Here we go. Play session four. And here we have our stimulus. So, upper right filler. It's this one here. And you see there are eight pictures that I have illegally downloaded from... The, no, it's not illegal. I've downloaded them from the internet. And uh, so there are pictures. <clears throat> okay. More pictures. Lower right lower folder. Right folder. More pictures. Okay, and if this really bores you, you can speed up the video or jump to, I don't know, in two minutes or so when I'll be done with this here. So now we're looking for upper left filler. Here we are. Okay. All the critical trials.
So those are our eight lists of pictures. And now we still need to add the two audio lists. So, um, horror songs. So this is click on the shirt, click on the boat, click on the candle. And critical sounds. Click on the B, click on the car, and so on and so forth. And we're done. Excellent. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, now another thing that we need to do is to create inputs. Save uh, so possible inputs for the participant. They need to click on the pictures in the screen, and they just don't need to click anywhere on the screen. Uh, they need to click on the picture. So we, in a way, we need to know where on the screen the pictures are. And uh, yeah, uh, we'll. Perhaps start with positioning the pictures in the events before we get to the responses. So I'm going to click on this um, event editor, upper right filler. So we're going to use a list, namely upper right filler that is already. Just so the first one is art, boat, candle, and so on and so forth. We can look at that. Okay, and now you notice that there is a little Tab here settings, and here we can uh, determine the position of the picture. And since it's in the upper right, we want it to be uh, well, sort of um, pushed to the right on the screen and towards the top of the screen. So from the center, we go 250 pixels to the right, and also 250 pixels to the um, yeah to the to the top and that should do it um, okay then we'll go to the next lower right we'll select lower right filler mm -mm. settings here we also need to go to the right, so 250 pixels horizontally, but then minus 250 vertically on the y-axis, yeah, so it'll be towards the lower end of the screen. Lower left. Settings. Here we need minus 250 horizontally and minus 250 vertically. Okay. Upper left. And horizontally 250. Oh no. Minus 250 and vertically 250. Okay. Um, same for the critical trials.
Okay, that should do it. <clears throat> right, and you see that these little icons here have changed. Okay, so now perhaps we can edit the inputs, the participant input. Okay, uh, so keyboard keys are a possible option, but what we need is the mouse or touch screen. And here we want to uh, edit new responses. So we need to have upper right, lower right, lower left, upper left. So we start with upper right. Any mouse button being pressed, not anywhere on the screen, but rather in a specific area. So upper right would be 250. 250 and there yeah we can have it be like a square area here it's suggested 200 by 150 would be a bit more generous 200 by 200 that's fine um, and just for the sake of cleanliness let's delete the others here okay upper right we have now we need our lower right so x-axis is 250, y-axis is minus 250. Oh, and actually you can preview this. Yeah, if you click on this, that's what it looks like. Escape. Oh, yeah. Um, new. <coughs> Lower left. Okay, so now when I preview, you see these four squares on the screen. This is where people need to click on the pictures. And of course, between trials, we want the mouse cursor in the middle of the screen so that uh, each picture has an equal chance of being reached in the same time. Imagine if people click on this, and then uh, the next trial is here, yeah? Uh, they would take longer than if the next trial would also be here. So in order to make it fair, in a way, we have to add a fifth interest area here in the middle where the fixation cross happens. So we ask people to click on the fixation cross between trials. So let me add fifth one, fixed cross, and that is in a specific area in the middle of the screen. And here we can be a little more uh, yeah, strict. Uh, let's see how this. Yeah, what's that? Okay, people need to click right in the middle of the screen. That's nice. Save. <clears throat> and now. Okay. Um, well, maybe let's associate the blocks with trials and the trials with events. That's that. Okay, experiment, we have fillers and critical. Fillers, we have fixation cross, upper, lower. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So these six events for critical. What was that? Okay, highlight. Fixation cross, upper right, lower right, lower left, upper left, and critical sound. Okay, and for goodbye, goodbye, and the goodbye message. You want to say? Okay. Now, let's look at this again, upper right filler. Uh, we've got the pictures associated with it. Um, and crucially, we don't want any input 
just after the first picture is presented. Yeah? So we tell um, Superlab to move on immediately after the pre event is presented. And we also want that for the other pictures. We only want a response once the sound is playing. Okay, here we have the filler sound. <clears throat> and here we're looking for a response. Okay, so we have the stimulus, the audio file. Oh, we haven't selected the audio file yet. So uh, here we want the filler sounds. And we want to look for a participant input while audio is playing. And uh, there is a correct response. So for shirt, <clears throat> see, I've seen this experiment a ton of times, so I know exactly where these pictures are. The shirt is on the lower left. Click on the shirt. The boat is on the upper right. The candle is also on the upper right. The light is on the lower right. The milk, lower right. The bike is on the upper left. And the watch is on the lower left. And the seven you may have seen that. Uh, it's on the upper left. Okay, that looks good. And we don't give feedback, okay? Uh, in other experiments we have given feedback, but not here. Okay, also for the fixation cross, we're looking for input. So the stimulus, <laughs> it's not audio, it's text, plus and um yeah okay we need a response and the correct response for this is the fixed cross so we want people to click right in the middle okay now critical sounds the stimulus is our list of critical sounds and the input that's okay and now we need to identify the correct responses. So B, the B is on the lower left. The car is on the upper right. Can on the upper left. The four is on the upper right. The spy, lower left. Can lower right, and the tray is on the upper left, and the ties on the upper right. Okay, if you uh, would be doing this for the first time and you're not sure where, uh, what the correct response is, you, know, you can go to these um, folders yeah and look up okay so here's the art and the car and the candle and the four and for instance let's see uh, okay so here we have the car it's in the upper right so for car upper right would be the right answer okay Let's see. I think that's it. OK, one more critical thing. Namely, uh, the way we want our trials to unfold is that the fixation cross comes on, people click on it, and then uh, the four pictures and the sound are presented simultaneously. OK? And to achieve that, we, we don't want the first picture to appear, then the second picture, and the first picture is gone. Uh, and then uh, by the time the sound arrives, all the pictures are gone again. No, we want them to stay on, and there is a way to um, achieve that. <clears throat> so here we have the 
um, picture, the first picture, upper right, fuller, and if we click on the settings, there, there's a, uh, an option here, presentation options, and uh, you see there is uh, this checkbox here, erase screen before presenting stimulus, yes, that's what um, we want to erase the fixation cross that just came on, uh, but for now we want to keep the stimulus invisible. You see here in blue it says use this option to present several visual stimuli at the same time within the same trial. That's what we do. Okay, so we click OK. I'll go to the next picture and in the settings we don't want to erase the screen before presenting stimulus because we want to keep the last picture on. But we want to keep this stimulus vis invisible. <clears throat> and the next lower left fuller Again, no, no erasing, but keep the stimulus invisible. Upper left, no erasing. But also here, uh, since this is the last picture, we don't keep the stimulus invisible. Yeah. So here, both boxes need to be checked off. Right. Um, filler sounds. And now for the critical trial, it's the same thing, okay? Here we have the first picture, we erase the screen, we keep the stimulus invisible. Second picture, lower right, no erasing, but keep the stimulus invisible. Lower left, no erasing, keep stimulus invisible. And upper left, <coughs> no erasing, no invisible stimuli. Okay, so if everything has gone according to plan, then this should be working. Um, it probably won't, <laughs> but we'll, we'll see how it goes and test run this. Okay, hello, those were my instructions. Okay, that looks good so far. The fixation cross, and uh, it doesn't go anywhere unless I click on it. So let me click here. Click on the shirt. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> um, okay, we can fix that in a minute. So it says click on the shirt, and I'll click on the shirt. Click on the boat. Okay. Click on the candle. Okay. Click on the light. Click on the milk. And you notice all of these are uh, filler stimuli. We don't have any randomization just yet. Click on the bike. Click on the watch. Click on the seven. Okay. <laughs> um, that was odd. Mm -hmm. Click on the B. Okay, I think I know what the problem is. Um, Click on the car. So something is wrong with the critical trials. We'll investigate that. But here you see a nice critical trial. So you have the car and the cards. And this might confuse people. Okay, what do we do? Um, <clears throat> let me look at the fixation cross first. So... Yeah, well, it worked for the filler trials, so it would be odd if there's something wrong for the critical trials. Let's see here. We have the stimuli, we have the input, or any response from the participant. Oh, the correct response is not defined. Okay, that's something that we need to fix, obviously. I'm not sure that it is the problem. But nonetheless, let's let's do it. Um, so the art is in the upper right, I believe. The car is also upper right. Oh no 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 no! I'm sorry, I'm sorry for um <clears throat> for these pictures. Yeah okay, and that's actually the problem. That's actually the problem. Okay. Um, for well, the pictures, we don't want any response, and we fixed that for the 
clinical trials, but not for the critical trials. That's the problem. Okay, good thinking. Bravo, myself. Um, right. Okay, we have the stimuli, and for the input, we want to move on immediately after the event is presented. So no clicking for the first three pictures. Right, and now when the sound comes on, that's when you want the response. Let's try if this works. Hello. Click on the shirt. Okay. Click on the boat. Mm -hmm. Click on the candle. Click on the light. Click on the milk. Click on the bike. Click on the watch. Click on the seven. Click on the bee. Okay, see it works. Click on the car. Click on the can. Click on the floor. Click on the spy. I really like the spy. Okay, so that's that. Uh, I hope you got it to work uh, yourselves. And if not, you know, send me an email and we'll try to figure out what went wrong. Okay. Bye.